Okay, so Bea, we all want to know, how was your closed door interview? Well, it was really quick. It was not as we expected. We all, um, all of the girls, we really felt tense during that day. We were anxious. We were nervous because, of course, we only wanted to do our best. And yeah. we were quite surprised that when we got in, the atmosphere was so relaxed, so chill. All of us were just given 30 minutes to speak and elaborate on our bio. And it was not as we expected because um, it's not like uh, the past um, interviews of Miss Universe. Uh, in what I understood, they used to have two panels and then um, mag exchange po na parang simultaneously yung mga girls na kakausapin nila face-to-face yung judges. Unfortunately for us, the judges were still quarantined during that time, but they just took a video of our interviews and then they sent it to the judges. But I felt that I was able to elaborate on my um, bio enough na parang nakulangan nga sila kasi the, the bell already rang and they wanted to ask more questions. So I felt that uh, I did great and to keep them interested like that, uh, I feel na nagustuhan po nila talaga yung bio ko and they wanted to hear more but Maybe they'll just have to see that in my performance tonight. Tuloy, tuloy lang. They were just asking you to say something about yourself. Uh, actually, we when we got in, we hindi na kami nakapag-introduce ng sarili namin. They just asked the, the questions directly. I was asked about my, my advocacy and what I would um, tell the government if given the, the chance to make a suggestion uh, on what I could um, do for the children in conflict with the law and how I will be able to help them. So yun lang naman po yung mga questions nila sa akin. Okay, let's move to the prelim. How did you feel in the swimsuit, in the evening gown? Tell us, what was it like being on that super glamorous Miss Universe stage, backstage, just the whole experience? Yes, um, all of the girls were very excited, especially when we saw the stage. And, and the runway, uh, it was really exhilarating to walk down the runway. I felt, um, I, I just enjoyed the experience, especially when I saw um, Miss Marian Rivera as one of the judges. Yeah. She was just saying hi and kaya nakasmile lang ako all the way because I was just really happy to see all of them. And lalo na yung mga fans, they were, they were mostly Filipinos and sobrang, sobrang ingay ng audience. Of course, na 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 hype up ako lalo. So exciting po talaga na maglakad sa sa runway. And I know I was supposed to do um some fierce looks, but I just can't help it. When you see all of the people smiling at you, you just can't <laughs> stop smiling back. So right. yun po, that's the that's the reason behind why I smiled all the way. And ah, okay. Yeah. Yes, I know a lot of people were asking me, bakit daw hindi ko nabigay yung fierce look ko. And that's mm. the explanation behind it. <laughs> yeah. So you were supposed to do a p- content fierce look, but then because you heard all the Pinoys and you saw Maria. Yes, as rehearsed, as rehearsed. I rehearsed all of my, <laughs> my emotions, my transition, my poses. But when I saw everyone in there, I just can't help but smile all the way. Kasi tinatawag nila yung name mo. They were speaking in Tagalog. And yung na- na- nararamdaman mo talaga yung, yung warmth ng mga Filipino and yung support nila. Yeah. The choice of your swimsuit, did you have a choice whether two-piece, one-piece, and the color? Yes. Uh, during our fittings, we had an option to choose between two-piece and one-piece. But kasi dahil, um, siguro dahil I was in uh, sa letter P na uh, towards the, yung mga natira na lang is all one-piece and it has different designs. So yun po oh. yung choice ko because I felt that uh, yun yung nagbibigay ng emphasis ng mga asset ko. Right. And how did you feel in your Francis Liberan fiery red gown? You look stunning. Yes. Choice um, ayon? Of all the seven seven designs, that was one of my favorite po talaga. Uh, lalo na, I knew that I would look really good in, in bold colors. So I had other options. I actually uh, brought four gowns with me. But the mm. red color was something I felt now would make me feel powerful in my preliminary. So that's what I wore. And in fact, I was able to 
wear it with confidence during the preliminaries and sobrang powerful po ng color para sa akin. Yeah. Are you gonna do your own makeup and hair or how, how does it work? How have you been doing it? Uh, during my preliminaries po, ako po yung gumawa ng hair and makeup ko. And wow. during sa long gown lang, yung change ng bun, uh, kasi I had to change it really quickly. So, pinagawa ko po siya with Muba team, yung uh, partner namin for cosmetics. Sila po yung uh, nag assist sa amin for retouch lang. But our hair and makeup, we do it ourselves. Yeah. So, are you gonna do the same thing for the finals and hair up, hair down? <laughs> uh, you'll just have to see later. Uh, my makeup, uh, I, I will be changing a few. And hopefully it will look better because uh, when we did the preliminaries, that's when we found out lang pala how we look on stage, yung, uh, mm. paano, paano yung, yung effect ng camera sa, sa monitor or sa lights. So I'll make some improvements lang for tonight. Uh, lalo yeah. na nakita ko na yung, yung lights. Ah. So, yeah, what are you gonna, what are you gonna sa makeup or sa hair? With my makeup. With my hair, it's definitely going to be different from my preliminaries. Oh, nice. And of course, bold colors, Francis Liberan, right? Well, that's also something to look forward to. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see later. 